Hi everyone, welcome to the second day of the Ayrshire Women's Cycle Festival and to this pre-recorded session about cycling without age. I'm Kit Cuthbert and I'm from the Trinity Active Travel Hub in Irving. And I'm being assisted in the background by Holly from the Kilmarnock Hub. The festival is being brought to you as a joint effort from the Active Travel Hubs across Ayrshire, from Ayr, Irving and Kilmarnock. All three hubs have a common goal of increasing the number of people walking and cycling for short journeys, whether for work, hopping down to the shops, taking the kids to school, or just for recreation. When we're able to offer our face-to-face -face activities, the hubs provide cycling skills sessions, bike maintenance classes, sled rides, and general advice and anything about supporting uh, walking and cycling, all aimed at increasing people's skills and confidence so that they can make their own choices about how to travel more actively. If you'd like to know more about what we do, you'll find links to the hubs on the festival website. And while you're on there, you'll also find some how-to bike maintenance videos, lots of inspirational bike stories from local women and the links to our mini film festival. You might also be interested in a podcast that was recorded earlier this week about the gender gap in cycling. And Holly will put that link, um, the link to the recording in the chat. So just before I start the film, there's just a wee bit of housekeeping. This session is being recorded simply so that it can be watched again at a later date. But your cameras and microphones are switched off, so we can't see or hear you. But you can use the chat to talk to us or to talk to each other. So moving on to the film. We're very pleased to have this pre-recorded film about cycling without age, where we will be meeting some of the women from the Presswick and Falkirk groups who will be telling us why and how they got involved. So that's enough for me just now. Enjoy the film. Hello, my name is Christine Bell and I'm here to tell you about Sign Without Age Scotland. This is a wonderful project which involves um, volunteers taking elderly people out from care homes or from their own home if they're maybe living alone or even if they just have um, mobility restrictions. We enable them to get outdoors with the use of specially designed battery operated trishaws by training volunteers and involving them in our project. We were absolutely thrilled when we were invited by Active Scotland and the Ayrshire Travel Hub to submit a series of short videos um, run by our volunteers and recorded by our volunteers to tell you a bit about their volunteering experience. Um, there's a lot of female volunteers in our pool. We have hundreds of volunteers around Scotland, many of whom are female and uh, many of them who have never cycled before. So we encourage you to listen to the short stories and to see what you get from them and uh, hopefully they'll encourage you to want to do the same thing. Hello, I'm Leslie McCree. I'm one of several female volunteer pilots from Presswick. I became involved with Cycling Without Age Scotland in January 2018 when I became part of the original committee who established the Presswick chapter. As treasurer, I was heavily involved in fundraising events and obtaining grants and funding from external bodies in order to purchase and fund our trishaws. Thereafter, I became involved in the process of helping to recruit volunteer pilots. When we heard about Cycling Without Age Scotland, it seemed natural to welcome the opportunity to develop this facility in Presswick as it would easily coexist with our walking groups and could easily progress in its own right as a new voluntary project within our community, allowing all members the freedom to enjoy cycling outdoors once again. I was keen to train as a pilot from the very beginning. Although I have basic cycling skills, I was still a bit nervous at the thought of taking the trishaw out and being responsible for the passengers travelling in it. However, after many training sessions and taking rides along the promenade, I was pleased to qualify as a pilot. 
The training experience really built up my confidence and I realised during this time that anyone could volunteer and train to become a trishaw pilot. You don't need to have had previous cycling experience to do so. Being a pilot is by far my most rewarding experience of being involved in cycling without Aid Scotland. I commit to and enjoy spending two mornings a week engaging with members of our community. That's people with special needs, elderly people and residents of one of our local care homes. It brings a smile to my face and indeed to many a face as we jaunt along the prom, chatting with our passengers and hearing their stories past and present and having some good wee laughs along the way. It's a joy to see their faces. Often we stop to chat with dog walkers and people out with their children. Sometimes we just stop the trishaws to enjoy the beautiful views over the Firth of Clyde to Arden and along the bay towards Trunanir. It's such a lovely setting for our passengers to enjoy the outdoors and feel the wind in their hair at the seafront. On nice sunny days, we often just stop for a wee cup of tea or an ice cream before returning our passengers back to their care homes or our community passengers back to our local venue for a wee cup of tea and a biscuit. I would say to any females out there with a few hours to spare that joining Cycling Without Age Scotland as a volunteer is an opportunity to meet people, make new friends, connect with and appreciate your local community and most importantly the satisfaction of being able to give something back. So if you're thinking about it, don't, just do it, you won't regret it. Hi, my name's Eileen McCauley and I've been a pilot with Cycling Without Age, the Falkirk chapter in Calendar Park for the last two years. I've always enjoyed cycling and when I saw an advert online for Cycling Without Age pilots, trainee pilots, I thought, yeah, I'm going to give that a go. Uh, it just so happened that one day I was along in Asda, our local store, and the tri show was actually inside the store. So I went up and I had a word with Christine, the pilot, and she assured me that I wouldn't have to cycle too fast. <laughs> and that was me. Yeah. I had my initial training and my first passengers were my mum, uh, 98 years old, and my granddaughter, who was nine at the time. Fantastic getting out. When you take your passengers out, the things that you see, whether it's trees, flowers, swans, ducks, whatever passes you by, uh, including maybe some friendly dogs looking for a pat or people always willing to wave, chat, it is absolutely fantastic. And I think the passengers must enjoy the rides because nobody's ever told me that they're not coming back. My advice to you, if you like cycling, you go for it, you'll love it doing something that you enjoy and helping other people at the same time is perfect. So as I said, give it a go, you'll love it. Hi, my name is Sarah Cromlish. I am 22 years old and have a mild learning disability and mobility issues due to low muscle tone. I also have problems with my balance so cannot ride a normal two-wheeled bike. At school, we were able to try out various trikes and four-wheelers where balance is not an issue. I am currently a student at Ayrshire College and doing the Roots to Employment course in the Supposed to Learning Unit. I have been involved with the Prestwick chapter of Cycling Without Age since the beginning and helped with fundraising for a tri show. I am a volunteer companion which involves sitting beside our guests when we take them along out for a ride along the prom. I would like to be able to pilot the tri show and have been practising when possible and recently got my own adult trike to allow me to practise cycling and build up my confidence. In recognition of my involvement with the Presswick chapter, 
I was asked in 2018 to become the Young Ambassador for Signal for East Scotland and then late last year was invited to become a trustee and join the board of Second for East Scotland. The thing I love about being a volunteer with the Presbyterian chapter is getting to spend time with different elderly people with the care home and taking them out for a trip along the prom. It is good to chat and see their smiling faces. Hello, my name is Lorna Walker. I am the captain of the Cycle Without Age Presswick chapter. I am 60 years young. I had relatively no experience of riding a bike other than when I was a girl, and that essentially was a long, long, long time ago. Um, I uh, seen the coverage on television about the Cycle Without Age a few years ago, and I quickly realised how, again, how that vehicle no pun intended, was a great support to people living in care homes. We managed to get information that brought us to Falkirk and from there we then formed a group together with like-minded people who essentially um, would use the tri show. Um, when you volunteer for Cycle Without Age Scotland, you become part of a network and these networks are also called chapters. But it goes a wee bit deeper than that in that you end up with friendship, kinship, um, fun, um, challenging times, but also worthwhile times. I would encourage anyone to take up um, the, the opportunity, if you can, to be part of this moving network. Um, it will change your life, I can guarantee that. And it will also give you friendship, it will give you support through sharing and listening and learning and loving each other. And also it will give you a bit of exercise, so there's a benefit for all involved. Thank you. Hi, my name's Rowan. I've been a pilot with Cycling Without Age for just over a year now. And when I first started, I was depressed, isolated, unmotivated, and quite depressed. I was looking after my elderly father, who was also in that situation. And together, I wanted to find something that we could do that would lift our spirits a bit. I found Cycling Without Age quite by chance, and we went off cycling together with other groups of people. And being out in the Fresh air and exercising was so uplifting that we found motivation, we found friends for both of ourselves, and we found inspiration to find happiness again in our lives. And I must thank Cycling Without Age for giving me this opportunity. It has really changed my life for the better. Thank you. Hi, my name is Shauna, I'm 62 and I live in Falkirk. I trained as a trishore pilot with Cycling Without Age at the beginning of 2019 and it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. It just seemed to give me a whole new lease of life. I had retired a few years before that and one day it dawned on me that other than walking my dog, nearly all my hobbies and interests seem to revolve um, seemed to involve an awful lot of sitting down and most of that on my own. When I saw the Cycling Without Age notice in Calendar Park looking for volunteers, I knew this was what I was looking for. Much needed exercise, fresh air, meeting people and enough flexibility to suit most lifestyles. What's not to like? Oh, and you get to make people happy. Any doubts about fitness or ability were unfounded. The trishaws are electric and any lack of prowess I have on a bike is not a problem with three wheels instead of two. On a trishaw I have all the enjoyment of cycling, 
without risking life and limb. The whole concept of this scheme resonated with me because I can't imagine not being able to get out every day to chat to people in the park or just have a change of scene. These are freedoms most of us take for granted, but old age or ill health can steal these choices away and life can become monotonous and lonely. I think the restrictions of 2020 gave all of us a little taste of what that can be like. So what better way to bring joy into people's lives than to take them out into the fresh air to enjoy a good blether or a sing-song or sometimes to run into an old power from years back. So if you think this might be for you, just go for it. I did and I found myself involved in all sorts of things that I hadn't even imagined. I made friends, met caring and interesting people, I got fitter and it lifted my spirits even during some difficult times. So what more can I say? Thank you for listening. Hi there, so my name's Susan, I'm 59 years old, I am a retired uh, nurse. I decided to volunteer for Cycling Without Age at my local uh, care home when I retired a couple of years ago because um, on my list of things to do was to volunteer um, for a community project of some sort. Um, and I thought that cycling without age would be beneficial to both me and to the residents in the care home. Um, I wouldn't say I was a keen cyclist prior to this. I passed my cycling proficiency as a child um, and probably hadn't cycled for about oh, 50 years probably. Um, but since I've started cycling without age um, at the care home, I have now purchased a bike of my own. Um, I would say I'm probably a fair weather biker um, or cyclist. I um, go out on good days when there's no wind, no rain and it's not too cold. Um, cycling without age for me has gotten me out and about in my retirement, which was what I had planned. I'm still quite an active person and um, the, the cycling on the tri show has benefited my health, I would say, and it's also um, helped me to um, fill some of my quieter days. You can go out as often or as little as you want. I uh, try to go out a couple of times a week with the residents for, you know, an hour, a couple of hours, and it's, it's great fun. The residents seem to love it, um, as do I. We got plenty of time to um, learn how to ride the, the tri show, how it works, how um, to get back cycling on the road, and how to load and unload um, the residents, which is all great. The the residents seem to love it. Um, our local community area is quite a small area. We get waves from passers by. We stop and chat to people that we know, and it's it's been a really great community project. I would certainly recommend um, anyone who's thinking about it, whether you've cycled before or not, it's great. Um, it's a great way of getting out and about and meeting new people. Um, I suppose for me, being in the caring profession um, all my life really, it was you know, um, an obvious choice to go and help with the residents in this, in this uh, project, in this scheme. Don't hesitate if you, you feel you can go and help out in any way with this um, initiative. It's really great getting residents, older residents, out and about, feeling the wind through their hair um, and uh, just out seeing their local community. There's one lady who told me all about the houses she'd lived in in the town and we had a great afternoon discussing the houses she'd lived in, the streets she'd been in, from when she was really wee, so it's, it's all really interesting. And my recommendation is, is go for it. You've got lots of support from the Cycling Without Age team um, to learn how to ride the, the, the trike and how to um, you know get back on the road and get a bit of confidence. Good luck anybody who's going for it. You will love it.
Well, there you are. I hope you um, join me in taking hats off to these ladies who committed to themselves to video to do that for you. Um, I know from doing this right now that it's quite a nerve-wracking experience, so a huge thank you to them all for um, conveying their short stories to you. Um, I sincerely hope that it inspires some of you, um, at least enough to give it a try, uh, to come and join Sign Without Age Scotland and uh, to try out riding the tri show, see if it might be for you. And then it might just introduce you to uh, cycling as a hobby or maybe for recreations, which would all be beneficial to yourself and certainly to the environment. So if you want to get in touch with us, our telephone number is 01324 467272. Our email address is info at cyclingwithoutage.scot and uh, we have a web a website which can um, give you a lot more information and that's um, if you just google Cycling Without Age Scotland you should find us all right and um, our address is um, the flat Glenbervie Golf Club in Larbert and that's FK5 4SJ. So we hope to hear from you. Have a great weekend. Enjoy everything that the Active Travel Hub have to offer you and have a great time. Thank you. So that was great, wasn't it? Um, thanks very much to the ladies from Presswick and Falkirk. Yes, it is a daunting experience to record yourself. I can vouch for that. So thank you very much for your presentation. And I hope that some of you will uh, want to find more about, out about Cycling Without Age and possibly take up the challenge yourself. Or you might have a relative or a friend or know of a group that would benefit from being participants. As the ladies said, the wind in your hair and the opportunity for a good blether, what more could you want? If you'd like to have a chat to someone from Cycling Without Age or try out one of the tri shows, then get yourself down to Biosphere Bikes in Girvan on Saturday the 15th of May, where they're holding an event. And Holly will put the um, links to that event in the chat. So moving on to the rest of this evening's programme, coming up at 6.30, we have a panel discussion and question and answer se session about tackling some of the taboos around women cycling. And then at eight o'clock, Frankie Dewar will be telling us about her journey from being a newbie on a bike to her 3000 kilometer bike tour around the UK. Just before you go, everyone who's attended this webinar will be entered into a prize draw, win a 20 pound whittle voucher and a goodie bag. And the winners will be drawn next week. So good luck with that. Um, when you leave the webinar, a short survey will pop up and it'd be really good if you could fill that in for us. So thanks again to the ladies from Presswick and Falkirk, to Holly for her tech support this evening and to you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Bye for now. <laughs>